welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look chosen one boss moves are destined upon your life boss moves are destined for your life is no way around it boss moves are for you you are destined to be very bossy in this life. And I don't mean that you have to be a boss. I mean that the moves that you make, the moves that you are making, the moves that you have made, they are very bossy. Like, and you're going to continuously make bossy moves. It's like you are dope by nature. It is inevitable. <laughs> it is inevitable that uh, greatness is destined upon you. Like, for one, you are a chosen one. So therefore, your life is going to be like, it's going to be something special. Like this lifetime around is going to be something special. Like this is not the lifetime. Like, you, it, and it's kind of confusing because it's like you go through these hardships, but you grow through these hardships. And it's only because it's like you were chosen to be like this leader. You were chosen to lead the way, to show the way. You were chosen to show that it's possible. Like you were chosen for a very specific task. So you're going to go through some hardships in this lifetime. But guess what? That reward, once you start reaping the benefits of your actions, once you start reaping the reward that is out there like for you like the the life that is destined for you oh it's gonna be like just so beautiful like you're just gonna start to see things unfold for you in the most beautiful way like you're gonna think that things are falling apart <laughs> you're gonna think that things are falling apart and things are really just gonna be really falling in place for you they're gonna be they're, they're gonna start to fit like a puzzle piece it's crazy because i'm getting emotional like girl what are you getting emotional about I'm very emotional, but it's because it's like I feel that deep down in my soul. It's like when you think things are falling apart, things are really working for you in your best favor. Like you didn't even know, like things that you you didn't even know that you needed. Like things are working for you in ways you didn't know that in which it's just like once you accept it, once you accept that you are worthy of it, of it, once you accept that it is for you, once you accept the truth, once you accept, like, once you start to move in love, like, once you just start to be a better version of yourself, once you start to vibrate higher, things just really start to align for you. And they start to align for you. Things that you didn't know that you needed or ways, it's like you start to accept ways of moving, ways of living, ways of thinking that you didn't before. But it's getting you closer to where you know you want to be. It's like, okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Like, you get, you start to recognize. You're like, okay, God, I see you. I see things working in my favor. I see things aligning. I see, like, it's stuff that you said that you wouldn't do, but you're doing it now because you, like, you find purpose in it. You find, like, a benefit in it. Like, you see how you can use it to your greatest benefit. Like, you're starting to see the good in things. You're starting to, like, let the good outweigh. You are starting to allow the good to outweigh the bad. It's like that's a, a greatness is destiny for you. It's destiny for you. This lifetime is super dope for you. It's like whether you see it now or not, like, you think that these hardships that you had went through or, like, whatever like that it, it could break you like it could never break you it was only here to make you like destiny is very great for you it's like your outcome it's like when your obituary is written okay that thing gonna be like like you might as well write it yourself for real for real because they ain't gonna even get it right right but they're gonna get it so good it's like wow you're gonna touch people just in that it's like the ways in which you move, the ways in which you maneuver through this lifetime, you're something different. You're really something different. <laughs> you're really something different. You really touch people in a different way. And you don't have to do too much to do it. You really touch people in a different way. And I'll have to tell you this. I'm just here to confirm what you already know to be true. Greatness is destined upon your life. Like you see things a lot, and I'm gonna show you how you know. Because everything when you think, every time when you think things are going wrong, every time when you think things are at a downfall, 
just look how things turn around for you. Just look how things turn out better than you could have ever imagined. Look at where you at right now and where you thought you were going before you got to where you at right now. Like what? <laughs> like God really be God in for you. Like the universe be showing up and showing up for you. Like really. Give thanks to that. Give thanks to that. Greatness is destined upon your life. But you're the co-creator with the universe. Like, you have a vision. You know what it is. You, your soul knows what it is that you want. Deep down. So whether you know it or not, your soul knows what it wants. So every time that you do something outside of that, it don't be good. <laughs> it don't be good when it don't align with your soul's mission. Like, it just don't be. It don't turn out the best. When something is not for you. God is going to keep making it mess up. God is going to keep making it agitate you. God is going to keep making you go through the worst of the worst with it until you let it go. Greatness is destined upon your life, but you have to first accept it. You have to accept that you're even worthy of it. A worthy of it. Like, are, do you feel worthy of greatness? Like a lot of us run away from run away from um success. Like a lot of us run away from love a lot of us run away from greatness like good vibrations it's like because we go to what we're used to we go we go to that childhood trauma we go to what we know but when you step outside of that it feels so good <laughs> it feels so good it feels like nothing that you've ever felt before it's like and that's how you know you're in alignment that's how you know that you're on the right track. When things just are flowing for you and things are going good and things, and you start to see messages and you start to see signs about things, it's like, yeah, take that. Yeah, take that. Like, yeah, your ancestors are there for you. Like, of course, your angels are looking over you. Like, of course, your angels are guiding you. But when you ignore that, it's like that greatness. You don't allow room for that greatness to. Um, you don't allow room for that greatness to be great. So it's like, what do you want to do? <laughs> what do you really want to do? Are you going to accept the greatness or not? But greatness is there for, it's waiting for you. It's waiting for you to get in alignment with it. It's like a divine timing thing. But at the same time, you have somewhat c control like you got to show that you're ready for it are you ready for it or do you want to stay where you at you want to stay stagnant you want to stay there you want to stay stuck it's like sometimes we are afraid to do something different because we don't know what's on the other side but it's like on the other side it could be everything that you wish for everything that you pray for on the other side it can be everything good where you act you can know that it's not the best for you but you may be afraid on the other side is being free. On the other side is living in your truth. On the other side is taking risk. On the other side is being brave. Greatness is destined upon your life, a chosen one. But if you do not accept the call, it will not happen for you. It's not gonna happen just because it's supposed to happen. You are a co-creator with the universe. Are you going to co-create or are you going to sit back and say, oh, I'm going to let you take the wheel. But in all reality, it's like God can't make you move your legs. God can't make you like pick up the phone like God. Can't, God can't make you do anything to change anything about yourself and your circumstances. But God can't show you the way God could show you the signs. God could lead you. God could guide you. God could guide you to the water, but God can't make you swim. Uh, greatness is destined upon your life. It's destiny, okay? First off, it's already written. But <laughs> it's also written in the fact of like, if you're going to choose to know better and do better, or if you're going to cho choose to know better and stay stagnant, to stay stuck. To, to feel like you're stuck because in our reality we're not really stuck 
A lot of times we feel like we're stuck. I feel stuck here. <laughs> but you're not really stuck. You're just one choice away from, like you're one opportunity away from something different. You're one choice, like, but it's that fear. So once you learn how to conquer fear, once you lo learn how to let your soul do what it gots to do, like, do what it wants to do, then you find things really aligning for you. You find things really bettering for your life. Uh, greatness is destined upon you. But if you don't answer that call, if you don't open that door, first off, the door is shut. Okay? <laughs> first off, the door is shut. So if you don't open that door, then how do you think it's going to get open? There's a knock on the door. Are you going to answer it? Is greatness calling? Are you going to answer yes or no? Okay, let me know down in the comment section. Greatness is calling. Are you going to answer yes or no? So if this video resonate, if it hit different, let me know how so below. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you've been rocking with me, I do invite you to become a member on this channel because we lit. Okay, we lit over on the membership side. <laughs> That is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tuned, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.